Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to transfer your domain name from Namecheap to SiteGround. And when I say transfer, what I'm actually going to do is uh, point the DNS to SiteGround, but continue to pay Namecheap uh, yearly, or if you have it set to every few years, uh, I'm going to continue to pay Namecheap for the domain registration, but then I'm going to have the hosting on SiteGround. This is probably the most cost-effective way to do it, uh, SiteGround's domains are quite a bit more expensive, whereas Namecheap is really affordable and they usually have a lot of deals going on. And I just like to keep the two separated in case you decide to try out a different uh, hosting company or you know you can quickly drop, you can quickly move it to a different hosting company versus if you had it tied to the hosting company, it's a little bit trickier to separate those two. I haven't ever used Namecheap for hosting. Uh, it seems like they have some affordable options. I just really like SiteGround. Uh, they provide a lot of WordPress tools built in, uh, super fast. They have um, Cloudflare built into it and just seems like an overall uh, good option for WordPress website specifically. So. I do want to note that this process does take 48 hours. So as soon as you do these steps, you have to wait 48 hours in order for the DNS to propagate, which means that you have to wait for all of the servers that have recognized your domain name, your www. or just your, you know, name.com. Uh, all of the servers have to recognize that you're now pointing it to a new address. So just like changing addresses, it takes a little while for everybody to know where it's going now. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking to move hosting and you're looking to start building your website, you're gonna to have to start building it locally and you won't be able to build an on-site ground server until the site has propagated. And you gotta allow up to 48 hours. Sometimes it happens faster, sometimes not. Uh, there's a few techniques that you can try to speed up that process. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but just be aware of that before you get started. You know, if, if you told your boss that you're gonna have this done and be ready tomorrow morning, that's not gonna happen. Uh, and especially if you're moving a site that was hosted on Namecheap, you're gonna, your site is going to be down for a little bit, okay? So let's get into the computer here and I'll show you how to get started here. We're gonna go to Namecheap first and if you already have a SiteGround account, have that open another tab. It makes it a lot easier, a lot quicker. If you don't have a SiteGround account, there'll be a link down below where you can quickly sign up. I have the biggest package, the Go Geek, uh, because it has staging. It just has everything I need. Uh, I host multiple websites on there. So let's get into it here. Okay, so now here on Namecheap, if you've already bought your domain, which I have, then you go to your account and you go to your domain list. And if you're not logged in, it'll prompt you to log in. Sign in. Okay, so now here's your domains are listed here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to manage. And now you're gonna go down here to where it says name servers. Under domain, you're gonna to go to name servers. And then you're gonna, it's it'll say name cheap web hosting DNS, or maybe it says name cheap basic DNS. I can't remember what it is basic, but you're gonna change it to custom DNS. And then it's gonna give you two slots here. And so now you're gonna go back, to, you're gonna to go to your SiteGround account and you're gonna log into SiteGround you're going to go to my accounts and to under site ground. You're going to go to the C panel and you're going to see name servers and you're going to see these two right here. So you're going to select the first one, copy it, paste it into here. And then you're going to go to the second one, copy, paste it into here. And then you're going to go down and you're going to say, uh, save, which it'll prompt you to save it if you have changed it. Or maybe it'll say save right here. Save your changes. And now it's gonna take up to 48 hours before it will 
show that you are over here. So now if you go to add on domains, you will go here and you will type in your address. So your new domain name. So if you go back to, it's going to be this right here. So we travel for gravel.com. And then it'll automatically fill these two in, leave those the same. You're gonna create a password. If you have a password manager, use that. And then you're going to add the domain. So, so see, it says here, add-on domains will not function unless you register your domain and configure it to point to the correct DNS servers. Okay, so, the, so we registered our domain with Namecheap and then we just configured it to point to the correct DNS server. So now that you've got this taken care of, it's gonna take up to 48 hours for everything to show up. So in the meantime, what might happen is if you go to your new uh, address, uh, let's see here. You'll get something like this. At this point, if you're seeing this 404 page where it says the site ground address cannot be found, then your domain has successfully been transferred from Namecheap to SiteGround. And then you can begin developing your website on SiteGround. If you want to learn how to create your WordPress website on SiteGround, stay tuned for the next video.